Right then, let's see what the regs are saying today. Yo, what's happening friends? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. I hope you are all doing well today. I really do hope that. Welcome back to Chelsea News, the daily series here, of course, on Football Therapy, where I see what's been said about the news, giving you my opinion, but more importantly, asking for yours. Two stories today. I want to talk about Jules Kunde, whose preference is Chelsea Football Club over Arsenal FC. Shock horror. Chelsea are in for a good centre back, so that could be quite exciting. And there are certain reports going around that Inter have rejected a Chelsea bid for Hakimi. Ooh, Chelsea really are going in for a right wing back. Reese James to right centre back, then, I guess. Lots to get into there. Do consider subscribing to Football Therapy if you're new to the channel. Hit the all important bell notifications icon. Drop a like on the video to show your love and support. And I want to urge you, again, just quickly to go check out Football Yannick, my other channel where I'm uploading daily content as well that you, viewer, might enjoy watching. So go click the link in the description. Check out Football Yannick, subscribe. <laughs> Thank you. Right, before we talk about Hakimi, let's jump into Jules Kunde. Young French Sevilla centre-back is a highly desirable defender around world football, well, European football, and he's been linked to many a club. Today I'm going to be citing an article talking about how he preferences the pride of London and South West as opposed to mid-table Arsenal, a once great titanic club, languishing in obscurity at the moment without... A direction. I'm not going to banter or go in on Arsenal, but things are looking poor. You know, they've got Buendia snubbing them for Aston Villa. They're, they're in trouble. They're in trouble. But apparently they're in for Jules Kunde. Why wouldn't they be? He's an excellent defender. And reports suggest he is more interested in the blue side of London, who are, of course, the champions of Europe. That's the first time I've said it in this video. Don't be offended if I say champions of Europe again, champions of Europe in this video, champions of Europe. Right, let's walk you through this article and see what's being said. Jules Kunde prefers the idea of moving to Chelsea rather than Arsenal this summer, the athletic report suggests. Kunde has emerged as a transfer target for Arsenal in recent times, although doing a deal with Sevilla could be difficult given his high price tag. Chelsea, on the other hand, certainly have the money to afford the 47 million the Athletics say it would require to lure him away from Sevilla. 47 million for a highly desirable centre back from Sevilla, a good Spanish team. These days, I suppose that's just about right, isn't it? I mean, I'm trying to like pull my head out of uh, transfer prices from four years ago. But, um, yeah, I guess that's fine, right? Let's read on. And it is the move to Stamford Bridge, which is said to be the appeal to him more than a switch to Arsenal. That is understandable given the respective seasons both clubs have had. While Arsenal languished in mid-table, Chelsea won the Champions League and will have top-level European football to offer Kunde. Champions of Europe, Champions of Europe. The latest update just makes the deal even more difficult for Arsenal to pull off. And while there is no doubting that the Frenchman would be a high attractive signing for the Gunners. It may be that the club needs to start looking elsewhere as there seems to be real complications with completing any transfer at this stage. Right, interesting. Before I move on and talk about Kunde and this potential transfer a little bit more, let's take a look at his player data card from Transfer Mark. Parisian born and bred Jules Kunde is 22 years old. He's a right-footed centre-back who plays for Sevilla with two years left on his current deal and can play either side of a back two. And as you can see, his value has skyrocketed up recently. Right, clearly a very good and desirable defender that could probably perform in the Premier League. Looks like a lot of scouts from English football have been looking at him, and he's a high-tier defender. Is he a defender that Thomas Tuchel wants? I'm not entirely sure. I know if, if Chelsea were to get a defender, it looks like they wanted to get a sort of real, real, real top, top, top defender. Maybe Jules Kondo is being seen as that, but he's quite young at 22. It's interesting because if Reese James is to be made a right centre back, as yet another, sp you know, personnel coming into the back three. I mean, you, maybe Zuma will go this summer and stuff, so we can discuss that. But Kondo, 47 million. I I guess that sounds good. I mean, I've watched some highlights of him and stuff. Let me know in the comments if you're a big fan of Jules Kunde and you'd be happy for that deal to come off. I mean, at the moment, our defensive record's pretty good and we've got a decent amount of defenders. But if the club and Thomas Tuchel do indeed insist on buying a new centre-back, 
Maybe Kunde is the one. Bring him all in, FIFA mentality, gobble, gobble, gobble. Right then, let's move on and talk about the next story in today's video. Talk about Akraf Hakimi. Now this is an interesting one that's got all the Chelsea fans and indeed football fans talking. The fact how Thomas Tuchel is targeting a right wing back player. Now this raised eyebrows from loads of people when it was started being leaked into, I don't know, the press when they were like, apparently he wants to sign a right sided defender. Most, you know, Chelsea fans like, what? That's probably a nonsense. But the news has fermented and it's becoming more and more real. Of course, we've been linked with the likes of Adama Traore who have done a video on. But Akraf Hakimi seems to be the one that Thomas Tuchel wants, you know, played for Dortmund, played for Inter, he's played for Real Madrid, or he was a Real Madrid player. At such a young age, Hakimi is top, top tier. And he's kind of like a wing-back specialist. Chelsea have had three wing-back options under Thomas Tuchel, right wing-back options. James, Azpilicueta, and hudson Adoy. Now, hudson Adoy doesn't look like he's going to play there anymore. Azpilicueta was sort of put there as a sort of stopgap when they wanted Reese James's pace at right centre-back. So I don't think Azpilicueta really is a long-term solution. So you've got Reese James there who's performed there really well, but that's just one. So do you bring Hakimi in to be a rotational player? Or like him and James share the minutes with James sometimes going right centre back and sort of spread the minutes like that? Maybe, especially if you're a top, top club going for the Champions League, Premier League and Cups. Do you know what I mean? So that is a maybe, but it still feels a little bit weird for me. A little bit. A little bit. Anyway, I'm going to cite a Metro article and give, let you know what they're saying. So let's jump in. Chelsea have submitted an offer in the region of 60 million euro, bracket 51.5 million pounds, end brackets, to sign Inter defender Akraf Hakimi, according to reports in Italy. The 22-year-old joined Inter on a 36 million pound deal from Real Madrid last summer and played a key role in the club's successful Serie A campaign under Antonio Conte this season. Of course, they won the Scudetto, and he is a very good player. He's got a decent amount of assists, and he can put a goal in, and he's just dynamic. You know, Real Madrid knew they had a proper player on their hands when he played so well at Dortmund, and he's gone to another big club at Inter and won the league. So you can understand why they're trying to get good value out of him. Inter, however, are open to selling some of their players in the current window in order to raise cash, and Hakimi, who is capable of playing on either flank, has already attracted interest from several clubs. That's actually really important because he spent, I think at Dortmund, he played left wing back and at Inter he's playing right wing back and he's like really successfully playing both roles at such young age. That's quite a mature trait for a young player. So that's massive. According to Sky Sport Italia, both Chelsea and Paris Saint-Germain have tabled offers of 60 million euros, but the City Act champions are holding out for a fee closer to 80 million euros. That's nearly 70 million pounds for the Morocco international. Yeah, like I said, you can understand why they're pushing it up a little bit, but he's still a fullback, wingback. You know, we all like laughed when Walker went for 50 million, but this is like 68, 69 million pounds. For, you know, it's, I don't know. The report also claims that Chelsea have an edge over PSG as they can include two players, Emerson Palmieri and Andreas Christensen as part of their offer for Hakimi. It is understood that Inter would be keen on signing Emerson or Christensen from Chelsea and allowing Hakimi to leave. Pause. Emerson, yes. Andreas Christensen, no. Is that clear? I think that's clear. Emerson played just 89 minutes in the Premier League for Chelsea this season and has already been urged by Italy head coach Roberto Mancini to just quit Stamford Bridge. Whatever, I'm not going to read on. It's a quote about Emerson talking about Mancini having like faith in him because he does play for Italy. He gets called up every time. I think, and he is a good player, Emerson. Let's have it right. He's a good player. He's versatile. He's played left centre back, left wing back, left forward. He can play winger or full back. He's, he's in his, he's yet to enter his prime, I think. Emerson's a good player, man. I think he's nothing more than a rotational player at Chelsea, but he could absolutely start for a decent European club. So, if Inter are interested, <laughs> Inter are interested <laughs> in Emerson, then yeah, put him in the bar exchange. He's the perfect kind of player to do that. Not Andreas Christensen, who just put like a heroic performance in, in a Champions League final and has been vital for Thomas Tuchel and probably the natural successor for Thiago Silva in that middle position. Not him, but if they want Emerson, that makes perfect sense and that suits us as well. 
Of course, there are rumours that Chelsea will look to sell other defenders like Kurt Zuma. Kurt Zuma is likely to go, which I find kind of sad. I understand in terms of player profile, maybe slightly, if you look at the other guys and then look at Zuma, what he brings. But Zuma is very good. He's a very good no-nonsense defender. I've never seen anyone win aerial duels like him. And he's got a goal in him as well. And every now and again, he'll charge upfield. He's very, very good. And because Chelsea recently just released that, you know, short film on him, like The Pride, Kurt Zuma, and he's like, Chelsea's my home. You just get all the feels and you're like, ah, I don't sell him, do you know what I mean? But you gotta like put your sentiments aside and maybe it makes sense to sell Kurt Zuma out of all the center halves, even though I really like him and value what he brings. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Get down in the comments, comment all your thoughts, feelings, and opinions on these defenders and transfer stories. Um, what else? Go check out Football Yannick because I'm doing at least one video on that every day, sometimes two. The link's in the description. Go click it and please do subscribe. That's it from me, my dear sweet friends. Enjoy the football and I'll see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought. Body bag the verse, outline the chuck. In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I love me baby